Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another video for the TLC art class sponsored um, by the Lakeside Church Toronto. My name is Christine and today we are going to do something abstract. So this is a painting that um, when I look at it, um, the shapes in there are all different. We've got larger ones, we've got smaller ones, we've got brown, we've got um, aqua, we've got a light teal, we've got uh, light brown, dark brown, and you know, looking at this, um, it really, to me, speaks diversity. And um, when we think about what God created in us, his people, we're all different. We have different color skin, different features. Um, we have um, different characteristics, different talents. But, you know, just like this picture, we're all different, but together it makes beautiful art. And that's exactly what God intended. So today, we're going to paint this picture and we are going to celebrate diversity and the fact that, you know, despite all that's going on in the world, we at TLC, we are a diverse family and we just continue to uh, love each other in the family just as God intended. So... Let's start. So today, I have a larger dollar store canvas, and I think this one was like three fifty. I think it, um, because it's abstract, it kind of needs to be a larger size one. And I got this from Dollarama. I have um, various colors, and I do want to say that. This can be done in different uh, combinations. And I've got um, these and this um, as a combination. And what you can do is just like put a little bit out on a piece of paper like this and look at it and see, mm, do I like that? And if you don't, go for a different combination. Here's another combination and I think this one is probably the one that I'm going to go for um, I am also going to show you some other combinations I don't know if you can see this here's one there are many different types of, of these on Pinterest here's another so you pick your combination, choose which one you want, and um, today I'm even going to put in a little glitter in mine, again from the dollar store, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so um, we need our paint, we need our canvas, and of course we need um, different size brushes so that we can, um, we can paint in those triangles. And the main thing that we do need is masking tape. I've got to get my masking tape. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to create with our tape those shapes that are on the canvas. And so um, I'm going to try to um, move this camera and show you how we're going to do that. I'm using green so that it's very easy for us to be able to see um, the pattern as opposed to white on white. So let me just try to move this thing back and show you. So you want some pieces to be long and um, you just start to just put them anywhere across the canvas and tape them down. So I've already put two, you can see here, and now I'm just going to continue to just tape them 
anywhere I feel like just randomly so here's after I do one I'll show you here's another one and we can do long ones um, we can do short ones and we want them we want them in different directions this is my long one here so you can see where I'm 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 just choosing any spot that I just look and think okay maybe I'll go down with this one um, maybe down in the middle yep and just look at it so now I have this um, if you want your things to be smaller you put more of them on so I'm going to go across this way so you just kind of look at where the um, tape is going so you you probably have to do some crisscrossing but the whole point is you're trying to create a bunch of different shapes that you should be able to see in your canvas and I think I, I think like this side here um, I'm going to go this way because I want it to look like this so here's another one and um, I still I think this up here I'm gonna probably go across this way to make another one Okay, so with each time you just look at it and think, do I need another one? Does it look like um, I need more? Um, um, and you could just go part way, you could do half. Now this to me looks too similar, so I think I'm going to change that up and put something else. So this is how mine has now been taped so I as you can see I've got small triangles I've got some different shapes I've got bigger triangles I just taped all the way across and the whole point is to make it abstract so you are just gonna make the um, taping any which way you want it so that you can get all different size shapes in your um, abstract okay so now we're going to start to paint these triangles. Um, so I'm going to start with my pearlized white. You can see where I've put the spots here. Um, I've chosen this um, in a way so that the triangles are a little bit spread apart from each other. Okay, so each time you, you put down a paint color, make sure that it's are very separated so that you don't have the two colors next to each other and the other thing is when you're painting make sure you paint over the lines of the triangle so I'm going right over um, this spot here not sure if I can if you can see that but I'm going to go right over here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue to use this white. I'm just trying it because it's pearly and I want to see the effect. But if that doesn't work, I'm going to choose a different color. So um, start to just go over painting each color of the three places that or four places that you want. And we're just going to do uh, one color at a time. And then move to another color so I'll do a couple and then come back and show you what it looks like so here you can see I've done um, a few shades of my pink and I've gone all the way over the lines because I want it to go right up to those lines so you go all the way over onto about you know a quarter or a half of the tape um, you have to leave enough for the other side of course so again remember that we're trying not to have the same um, color next to each other 
So you just have to kind of spread them out evenly across the, um, the canvas. So now I think I'm going to choose um, maybe silver. So now you can see I have put on um, my next two colors. So I have my pink, um, my gray, and my black in different areas across the, um, the uh, canvas. And I'm just going to continue to put these in different places. I am going to leave a few, few spots to put some glitter in, but I think you get the idea um, that you need to paint in the colors that you've chosen, trying to keep them not next to each other, um, but making sure that they're in different spots in the, um, the picture. And um, you make sure that you go all the way to the edge of um, and go actually over onto the green tape so that you will be going through the edge. You will have to go over the canvas um, with the same color a few times. Um, this one wasn't primed and I didn't bother to prime it. So now I have to go over it a few times just to make sure it's solid. But I'm just going to continue this process and then come back and show you where we're at. So now you can see I have put on um, my next two colors. So I have my pink, um, my gray, and my black in different areas across the, um, the uh, canvas. And I'm just going to continue to put these in different places. I am going to leave a few, few spots to put some glitter in. But I think you get the idea um, that you need to paint in the colors that you've chosen, trying to keep them not next to each other, um, but making sure that they're in different spots in the, um, the picture. And um, you make sure that you go all the way to the edge of um, and go actually over onto the green tape so that you will be going through the edge. You will have to go over the canvas um, with the same color a few times. Um, this one wasn't primed and I didn't bother to prime it. So now I have to go over it a few times just to make sure it's solid. But I'm just going to continue this process and then come back and show you where we're at. So I'm just going to show you, it looks a little messy. Um, I did have to change um, one of my colors and I put in a magenta instead of the um, pearlized white. It just wasn't showing up. So instead I used a regular white in the middle. Oh, I have a little pink spot that I have to get rid of and um, put some magenta in there. And the last step that I'm now going to do, I've left some spaces here and here and here, here, um, that's going to be where I'm now going to put tacky glue and sprinkle glitter. So, my finished product, almost finished, has glitter on it. It, um, the white went to cream because I realized that my lines are going to be white and that was going to change the pattern so I needed to um, have a color that was going to stand out against the white lines which I did not think about before so here's the tip don't pick white as one of your colors because your lines are going to be white so pick any other color um, and one other thing that I found is that it's easier if you have a few colors at least four or five colors to um, be able to decide which one's going to go next to which one. So the more colors that you're using, the more um, you have some sort of leeway. But this is this messy looking thing. So we're going to let it dry. And then afterwards, we're going to pull off all of the pieces of tape to be able to get our finished product. So I'm just going to let it dry and then come back. 
So now after it's dry, or virtually dry, now we are going to very carefully start lifting off our tape all across the canvas. So just carefully peel them off and uh, remove it and try to keep the areas clean in between and then reveal your picture. Okay, so I have removed all of the pieces of tape. Oh, I just saw one little piece, sorry, that I have to move. And so here is my reveal. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, I really do like the glitz of having some glitter. And this glitter is um, like $1.50 at the dollar store. The magenta seems to really pop. And um, yeah, so there it is. So I'm going to say um, have fun. Choose your own colors. Choose a few colors. And if they you put it on and it doesn't seem to work or you don't like it, then just paint over it and put another color on. But um, yeah, so this one um, is more of a pink nature. But as I say, you can use any combination of colors. I've seen some that are orange and, um, you know, just do what speaks to you. So I hope you will also enjoy this. This is our diversity representation picture. Have a good week.